Hello everybody, Mr. Porkchop Boy here, and I have a quick little video for you today. Uh, it's an unboxing. It was an unboxing. I have the box right here, uh, right here. But um, I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. So uh, it's an unboxing. You might have saw. It's an unboxing of a case knife. It's the Case Caliber Lockback. It's a small little knife, as you can see here. Um, sorry that the unboxing it didn't record. But uh, you can see here it has like a military kind of camouflage going on there. And I got this at Lowe's for, I believe, $15. And uh, it's a lockback, as you can see right here. Now, I'm going to do a full review on this knife after I use it for a little bit. Um, as you can see the blade there. Let me see if I can get my ruler. Where did I put the ruler? I just had it out because I measured it in, when I took it out of the box. Here it is. Okay, so here I have a ruler, and I'm just going to open this here. Okay. Let's see here. It's five inches. I'll show you that. Five inches overall, and the blade is two inches. Well, the cutting part of the blade is... Uh, I'll say one and three fourths, but uh, the whole blade is two inches. So it's a uh, it's not a big blade, but you know it's good to have as a backup. You know you never know. It's just uh, it doesn't have a pocket clip or anything. This is just like to sit in the in the bag or something. Could put this in maybe a um, first aid kit if you needed to cut something for some reason. A fishing kit. So this would be good for a survival book bag. So I might put this in my survival book bag that I talked about. In, uh, if it wasn't my last video, it was the video before that. Uh, but it's a nice little blade. It's uh, made in the USA, as you see here on this piece of paper. This is what it came in in the box. It says uh, made in the USA right there. Again, I'm sorry, it's flipped. The item number, as you can see here, it says 121110. So um, if you want to go and check that out. Uh, it's not that hard to take to pull out. It's actually really easy. You don't even need to use the nail nail neck here. You can just flip it open, flick it open. See there? It just like clicks into place pretty easy. I'm probably making faces when I'm doing that, like mm, mm, or something. I don't know. Has a nice little lanyard hole right here. Uh, it doesn't look like that would fit 550 paracord, but it could. Um, might have to squeeze it in there, but it, it could probably fit. And uh, I actually did the unboxing. Uh, with my Kershaw Kuro. Great knife. I love this knife. I actually EDC'd it today. Um, but yeah. So I unboxed this in the video that I made, but it didn't record. But uh, again, it's a nice little knife. Uh, over here underneath the blade, it says Case XX USA. And it says 225 LSS. That's what it says under there, right there. Okay, and as you can see, it has a little bit of grip over here, but it's not crazy grip, but uh, it'll hold your your grip if you're going to cut something, and uh, let's see here, the sharpness of the blade out of the box, I haven't touched it, I haven't sharpened it at all, that's out of the box, okay, and again, this is only a $15 knife at Lowe's, so it's a nice little knife for 15 bucks. You can use it for uh, fishing. You can use it as a backup EDC blade if you needed. Uh, I usually only carry one blade for EDC, but uh, maybe I'll start carrying this just loose in the pocket because there is no pocket clip. Or maybe I'll uh, attach this to my keys, but I just don't think that's too good of an idea because you can see there it's not the best. Like I can, using my pinky and my thumb here, you can see that it's not that strong. But uh, maybe I'll just throw this in my pocket. Maybe I'll throw this in my car because I don't actually have any blades in my car. Always good to have a knife in your car. But I, I actually really like it. Uh, you can use it. You can open it with one hand. You know, just put your uh, hand here and push. You know, you don't have to use the nail nick. Uh, I actually like that a little bit better. And the lock up is a, a lock back like I showed before here. So you just press this down and it locks. You can see there, you push here, it lifts this part up and then you can 
close the knife here. So uh, I'm going to be doing a full review on this after having it for a few, maybe a few days, maybe a, a week or so, uh, just so I can uh, use it a little bit. And also I have a carbide sharpener. Uh, I actually paid, I think, $4 for this at Lowe's also. I bought it the same day, but uh, I actually haven't used it yet. I actually just took it out of the box too. Uh, I took this out of the box and I was like, oh, I'll make a video about it. So uh, on the top, it's the coarse carbide, as you can see there. Again, I'm sorry, it's flipped. And on the bottom, it's the fine ceramic. So you basically just flip it like this. Well, actually, it would be like this. And then you can sharpen it like that also. And there's like a little bit of grip over here, as you can see. There's like, so you can hold on. You don't have to worry about it. And uh, when you pass your blade through here, you don't have to worry about uh, sliding all over the table or something because you have these rubber feet here. So uh, they're not going to slide everywhere. It's I'm like trying to shake, to slide it, but it's just not going. And it has it on both sides. So when you're using the ceramic or the uh, carbide, you know, It'll be secure on both sides. And over here, they put a lanyard hole. That's pretty cool. You know, I would actually attach this to a book bag if you're going camping. If, you're, if you have, like, a certain book bag for fishing or something, I would actually attach this because you never know when you're going to need to sharpen your blade. Uh, so this would actually be a pretty good thing. And actually, this is made in China. It was only $4, so uh, it should be pretty good. Uh, it was only 4 bucks. If it's really good, then I'll tell you. If it's all right, I'll tell you. I'm going to do a full review on this after using it a little bit. Um, again, um, you can see it's like a bright yellow, and it has red text. And over here it says Smith's, and that's uh, Smith's since 1888, maybe? Yeah, it looks like 1888 right there. So uh, if you want to know what this is, it's the Smith's sharpening system. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, this is the box. You can see there it's Smith's Edge Sport. And it's a two, see if I can find the other part of the top. Two-step knife sharpener. That's what it is. I guess that's the name of it, as you can see there. Smith's Two-Step Knife Sharpener. And it's Edge Sport. So if you want to go to Lowe's or order online, it's only four bucks. So I'm going to use this a little bit then I'll make a review about that and I'll use this a little bit make a review about that and um, today uh, it's already 320 I, I was going to edit a Zippo video and put it up but I actually I'm gonna put this video up and I'll put up another Zippo video tomorrow I have a Zippo video already recorded it's already on my computer I just need to uh, put it um, I need to edit it that'll be a few minutes like five ten minutes then it needs to export so that takes depending about an hour usually about an hour and you know it takes a little bit to upload to YouTube also so um, that video will not be up today I will edit it though I will edit it today so that tomorrow when I get home from school I can just upload it right away I can edit it and export it today and tomorrow I will just upload so thank you for watching this video here uh, if you missed my last video it's actually a review of an American flag Zippo it's actually really, really nice. I, I actually really like it. It's my first American flag Zippo <laughs> as I'm playing with the knife. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm getting distracted here. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but it has like a military camouflage here. You can see. I like it. So, again, if you missed my last video, it's a Zippo unboxing review kind of video. I'll put the annotation right up here, and you can go check that out. It's a really, really nice Zippo. It's an American Flag Zippo. Uh, my first American Flag Zippo, I talk about it. Uh, talk about uh, how much I paid for it and everything. Go into close detail with my better camera, not with my webcam. And uh, if you want to subscribe to me, I'll put the annotation right up here, and that will take you to my channel where you can subscribe to me. I put up videos every single day. Um, I might skip a day, but usually every single day I'll put up a video. If it's just a video like this of me talking, if it's an update video, um, I need to do this knife review. I need to do this sharpening system review. I have here a Winchester multi-tool. I'm going to review this also. Nice little multi-tool. Got this from my dad. I got it from Walmart. Got this from my dad maybe a year or two ago for Christmas. 
Um, I'll do a review on that. I have, what else do I have here? Again, I have the uh, neck knife, which is right here. A nice neck knife. All these videos are on my channel if you want to go check that out. Uh, as you can see, there is some wear and tear on there. I'm actually using this in uh, different situations. I also have the Gerber Bear uh, sharpening system here to sharp to you uh, to review. I have I have a lot of things here to review. So if you're if you're interested in any of these items that I'm showing you, subscribe to me and. Uh, you will see those videos because I'm going to make them. Here I have a Milano stiletto. Going to be making a uh, review of this knife here. So it's actually basically just a fancy letter opener because this you can't use for utility work. It's really sharp. Let me just grab a piece of paper that I already have here. It's really sharp as you can see here. Look. Really sharp, but I'm not going to carry this around. You could. There's a pocket clip, but... uh need to make the review of this knife here. I'm also going to make the review of this knife here. Uh, it's a nice knife. I paid, I think, five, six bucks for it at an antique store. Huge, huge blade. I think that's like a five-inch blade. Let me see here. Four-inch. It's a four-inch blade here. Really, really big. Just so you get an idea, this is the knife I just reviewed. That's just the blade. It's a really, really big knife. It's an old, I would say a hunting knife if you ask me. The only thing I'm not too happy about is this lockback is really, really tight. You have to press really hard. As you can see, I just pressed and like I like scraped my finger. But yeah, I really like the tarnished brass look on this and the uh, wood. It's really nice. It was used, obviously. I got it at an antique store. So, uh have to do those videos. Uh, currently, I'm uh, ordering a few things online. I have a few. I have a knife. I know I have a knife coming in the mail. It's a Spyderco. I'll tell you that right now. It's my first Spyderco that I will own, and uh, it's coming in the mail already. Also, I have uh, some paracord. I believe I have some paracord coming in the mail also, so then I can make some lanyards for my knives. Uh, right now, the only paracord I have is this right here. So it's already made into bracelets. Uh, most likely I'm going to take these two apart because they're tight on me. So I'll probably take them apart and make knives out of them. And uh, I'll make a video uh, taking them apart so you can see how much cord is in, in this little bracelet. Because there's some people on YouTube that have them. They don't know how much cord they have in a, a paracord bracelet. So again, I have so many videos coming soon. If you want to subscribe, go right ahead. I would love that. Uh, you would like that, I hope, because I have these videos coming up very soon. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day.